Now then, YouTube, welcome back to Derby County career mode, and it's Millwall away. And as you can see, the first team simply isn't going to be playing. Uh, in net is Zetterstrom, back four of Kane Wilson, Nat Phillips, Jake Rooney, and Craig Forsyth. Midfield of Liam Thompson, Darren Robinson, and Marcus Harness. Up front, Tom Barkhausen, Jerry Yates, and Chiroa. On the bench, we've got Josh Vickers, Joel Ward, sorry, Joe Ward, not Joel Ward, Sonny Bradley, David Ozo, Ebu Adams, Dan Jan Brown, and Connor Washington. Again, a lot of changes had to be made just for the simple reason if we do not have the players, unfortunately. So can we get three points away at Millwall with the second team? Not going to be easy, this. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Millwall, and they take good on... Good pressure Derby forcing County. them along. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. And good from Forsyth. Two good teams. A Lovely great turn from Barkhouse. And a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Oh, Forsyth ball in. Looking for Chiroa. I might be bottling his pronunciation entirely, and I apologise to the man. Um, he's been decent when he's played though, so good opportunity for him. Here's Robinson. Chiroa. There's half a yard gap. Shot saved. Tom Barkhausen. We know he's got quality. That wasn't the Ozo. Pokes at it, stabs at it. And you can tell he's stretching. Where are Millwall? Oh yeah, the seventh. I remember that. They've had a decent start and Millwall are a good side. This, like I've said, will not be easy. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams. And I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. Want a disciplinary sort of game like... Uh, uh, last episode against um, Oxford. Don't even remember a foul being made, never mind a, a booking or a red card. It's a decent ball there. Duncan Watmore's through and scored. <laughs> Good ball. I didn't want the red card. <laughs> I've had enough of them. So I, I, I was hoping that the pressure from behind I just pour him off balance, pour him off, lead to him scuffing the shot, but strong, calm, composed in front of the goal. You can see there, Phillips tried to do a job, tried to then get in the way, but what more? Just holds him off and powers it in. And then he swap players to someone I didn't want them to. Chiroa, I said it won't be easy. 1-0 Millwall. I don't want it to be easy. I shouldn't be second in the Premier League, uh, in the Championship with this team, so... If, obviously great if I am, but... Honeyman. And I'm also worried if I do go... Ooh, hello. That's an awful pass. Jerry Yates. Oh, quick hit it. He came out of nowhere. That was a poor touch from Yates. Thompson. Harness. Oh, he come out of nowhere. Can't yeah, quite get there. Chiroa. Oh, he's unlucky. Yeah, like I was saying, um, if we get... Pro oh, fantastic pressure from Kane Wilson. And here's Chiroa. I see Jerry Yates. But he was not there. To be fair, that's not where I wanted the ball to go. Not much time to make up his mind. Robinson. From Derby to win back possession. Jerry Yates. No. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Um, if we go up this season, I'm a tad concerned about how we're going to do in the Premier League. Oh, Forsyth makes a great tackle. Oh, he's out of position now. Bear in mind, I've used up all my money this season on, on youth scouts and new, new contracts. So much so 
that I didn't realise how little money was in our budget. I thought I'd have enough to at least sign one or two of the youth players I've got in my oh, that's poor ball from Kane Wilson. Turns out I've spent all my money on renewing contracts and signing youth scouts. Good from Zetterstrom. Nothing he could do about the goal, by the way. I'm not going to blame him for that at all. Thompson. Oh, it's weak and Millwall ramping up the pressure to play him offside. Zetterstrom again, keeping us in the game. Very good player. But yeah, this squad will do us this season and next season I can improve it. Um, and you know, there's some players, youngsters in this team that will improve alongside. Also, I have to remember lone players. But this season I'm not really going to be able to improve this squad. I, I'm good header away. I'm pretty much stuck with this squad for the season. I get some free agents in in the in the summer, and again, it's not going to be an easy. I, I've I've pur oh, fuck off. I've purposely asked for a strict board budget, not to make it easy. They've had so much pressure. So we've been battered to be fair. Jake Rooney, fantastic. Oh, oh come on, Jerry, get on side, get with it. I mean, he was mild on side when we've only had that one shot in. That one where Jerry Yates was played through by Millwall. Millwall's been our most attacking threat. Awful back pass. Barkhausen. Too busy watching Jerry Yates' run. I wasn't actually watching Barkhausen. He had space. He took a poor torture before I knew it. I watched Jerry Yates' run. So aim the oh, it's a lovely turn. Duncan Watmore's chipped it wide. I mean, Ebo Adams, for example, now 70 rated. He will certainly do. He's given it away. N uh, like next season, there's some players like now that won't do, i.e. Connor Washington, i.e. James Collins, aging players that are low 60s that are only going down in rating. Players that will, like Jerry Yates will last another season, Caden Jackson uh, will probably do another season, Mendes lying at that rating will do another season. So they're the ones have renewed contracts, youngsters that will, will do really well. I've renewed their, like, cashing. So I'd like to think he'd be with this club in the Prem as well. But I need to, uh, like, this is not going to be, I don't want it to be easy. We've got a good team here, and they're proving it. You know, we are second in the in the championship. We, You know, we're also got the opportunity to do well this season, but we also need to remember, I mean, I don't know how much money I'll get. If I do do well this season, it'd be nice, a high mid-table. Playoffs again, I don't want the heart rate. Um, if we can finish between 8th and 12th, it's, it's well, between 6th and 11th, top half, mid-table, I'll be happy with that. Because it gives us a bit more money finishing, 8th and 9th would be ideal. Money, not in the playoffs, not having to worry about uh, the endless worry of um, getting battered every team we play against in the Premier League. Ooh, that's close from Caden Jackson. But yeah, yeah, sounds ridiculous and almost a joke, me saying I don't want to go up. I just don't think I'm going to have the budget to be able to completely renovate this into a squad that isn't going to get anything other than relegated straight down. I'd rather have another season in the championship because I'm going to be behind my schedule if I go up. Um, I might not even be kept in a job either. If I... Oh, he's turned me well there. If I um, go up this year, if I A, get kept on and go back down... Then I'm in. Then season three. That means I'm back in the go. championship. I mean, season four, I'd be. You know, I want season three to be Premiership. Season one and two to be prep. You could say, but you want to. You want to get there sooner. I do. I also want to stay there. That's a. That's a thought for me, and this it's just not going to happen if I um, go straight up. Adams, Ozo, on. Alright, 
let's do um, quick edit. I want to do four, two, three, one. With Ozo and Adam holding. Chirera. Can I ask him camp? He says he can. That's good enough for me. Chirera can go camp as well. Harness. Left. Right, yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Phillips deflected over for a corner and in the 65th minute formation and subs bringing off uh, Robinson and Thompson bringing on Adams and Ozo. Barkhausen's ball, harness. Adams. Harness, can you win it? Get in front. On to Harding. I want a bit of pace up front. Brown. Ward. Bring Bradley on as well. Now with Aziz. Joel well, Ward's end quality of cross, I feel, is a bit higher than Kane Wilson. Darkhausen, Chiroa, Jerry well, Yates, really nice turn. He's got half a yard, uh, and he yeah, struck it just wide. 20 minutes to go, and that's Jerry Yates' final involvement. Bringing off Nat Phillips, Kane Wilson, and Jerry Yates. Bringing on Dan Jown Brown, um, Sonny Bradley, and um, Joel Ward. Joel Ward, sorry. That's, he's a right back. I'm just going to. If I call him Joel Ward, because I know I'm going to carry on doing it, oh, that's awful. I wanted my guy to make the run. The, you know, the right winger to make the run where he should be. Cooper. Wesley Harding. Press them high, Leonard come on, now. get some pressure on them. On to Harding. Not Harding. Harness. That's Chiroa. Brown win it. Harnessed. Well, we can see what they're trying to do, but not a memorable passage of play. Brown's got half a yard and it's a really good block. Millwall defensively as a unit, very good. Well, it's a decent looking Ibu Adams. Face. Harness. Brown, it's a good save, it's a tame shot. Ten minutes to go. Pressure's better. On to Aziz. Too easy. Promising pass. Sonny Bradley, good header. Here's Ward. Saw that ball over to Harness. And he's just been evaded by the bounce. Will occur now. Run, Forrest. Honeyman. Honeyman's and ball. Well. Bradley deals. Ozo, good turn. Five minutes left. Sure, well. Ozo. There's no real other options. I've got to have a go, and unfortunately, he's caught it and held it. The I was hoping because I knew he has a decent shot. He'd parry it. It could get a ricochet. Could force it out for a corner. But the worst possible thing happened. He caught it and kept possession for Millwall and they've headed it round. They've been the better side. I can't argue a defeat today. Offside? Have I timed that offside trap well? No, I've not, but Jake Rooney's timed that tackle well. Right, come on. Attacking. Right, I'm not being funny. Oh, my God, this is awful. Chiro, oh, my God, this is awful. We deserve to lose. Millwall 1, Derby County 0. Honeyman. Could be two yet. Honeyman comes forward. Volleyed wide, full time, 1 0. Not good enough, simply as that, really, to be honest with you. Not good enough. Um, Chesterfield score. They're losing 1 0. Fantastic.
Um, disappointing, that really is. But I said it wouldn't be easy. Up next, we've got Hull. They're 15th, and we are at home. Like I've said, the games I want to be winning are home games. Away, you know. We'll see. We've got Hull up next. Depends on the opponent away. For example, excuse me, Oxford last episode. They've got a decent team. Not as decent as last year, but still. Decent areas. Youth tournament ends soon. Yes, because all my youth players are sh shit, to be honest. Um, and I can't afford... Let me just have a look in the office. Budget. I'm confused with how budget works this year. I don't like it. So that's usually there's the there's the arrow, isn't there? So club worth twenty four mil, projection nineteen point four three. Expenses. So we're down earnings. That'll come up with time. Overview. Transactions. Share sales. Player wages down. Coach wages down. Travel costs down. Travel costs down. Shirt sales. Match tickets. Okay, budget. Salt players. I'm just confused massively by it all. This new usually you have the little cursor, don't you, that goes across. It's not there. I don't understand. Oxford are beating Derby County one 0 as well. Dane Scarlett scored for them. So Chesterfield and Derby are losing. Fantastic. Glad I'm playing this instead of watching that shite. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, and leave advice because I'm so confused with this finances. Uh, but yes, please like, subscribe, take care, and bye bye.